Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back to Frank's Collecting Castle. My name is Daniel. And uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I've done uh, DC Comics, the trades, the hardcovers and other editions. I've done like indie comics and, and uh, you know, different editions. I've done Marvel Comics, the uh, hardcovers. Now I'm finally going to do Marvel Comics, the trades. So I do have quite a lot of trades for Marvel Comics. And before I go through this, these big stacks right here, just go through and see what I have here. I have just two. So this is um, Punisher is my favorite character. And this is the Punisher official index to the Marvel Universe. And this is exactly what it says. This is an index. Just tell us a little bit uh, facts and figures about each. Individual issue. So this came out a couple of years ago, so it's not <coughs> sorry, uh, not relevant now. But it's very, it's a nice, cool little tidbit. It's a Punisher Noir thing, like a mini, mini sized compared to the regular trade. And then this here is just all just Punisher. So this includes the Punisher Max by Garth Ennis. And it continues with the Punisher all the way through here. And then we have, let's have a look at these. So here we have the Tomb of Dracula, Day of Blood, Night of Redemption. And then we have Tomb of Dracula, Visionaries. I love the Tomb of Dracula. You know, I have the, uh, uh, where is it? The first omnibus, there's two more omnibuses, but those have been criminally out of, out of print for years and years and years. And I do have the first masterwork as well. There's like two or three more releases of those, but yeah. So there you go, just Punisher until you got some Tomb of Dracula. Yeah, that's more Punisher. And over here, got Electro Assassin by Bill Sienkiewicz, of course. Uh, Marvel Knights, Spider-Man. Oops, just... <laughs> we have Phantom X. That was a Phantom X Max, about the character Phantom X Max. Phantom X. That's a fun series. Captain Marvel. Uh, all new X Men, Doctor Strange and Doctor Doom, Triumph and Torment. This was such a good book. Artwork by Mike Mignola, and it's written by Roger Stern, Jerry Conway, and Bill Mantlo. It's a great, great story. Man, seriously, I highly recommend this one. Damn, it has awesome artwork. That's a great story. How uh, Doctor Doom once a year goes down to hell to try to release his his mother, but he takes the help from uh, he takes help from Doctor Strange. Uh, if you haven't read this, I highly highly recommend it. It's a, it's a great story. The Good Doctor, the Savage Sword of Conan. Barbarian. Uh, this is Craven's Last Hunt. Amazing Spider Man story. You got Thor Bustrosinski, part two. Oops. That one. We got another. I'm sorry, these are falling over here. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, this is the black. That's the black and white side of Savage Sword. Got old Captain Britain, Black Widow. That's a great, great series. Captain America, Prisoner of War. So that's it. Brubaker, 
part of the Brubaker run. And we got another Captain America by Ultimate Captain America by Jason Aaron. Ron Garney. More Cap. This is another Theater War. I'm a huge fan of Cap. Always been. Trials of Captain America. This is good. I have the entire Brubaker run, but I have it in trade. I have it in hardcover, and I have... Two omnibuses. So I know there's the death. Well, there's like a couple of more omnibuses, but I have those in trade as well. So here we got Captain America Living Legend. Thunderbolts. I love Thunderbolts. That's part one. Here's part two, right? The original run. Let's just get into this. It's quite a lot. I'm not going to spend too much time. Silver Surfer Devotion, or Devolution, sorry. Iron Man Extremis, that's a great book. The Marvels, that's a great one. House of M, love this one. House of M is so good. Uh, Shatterstar from X-Force. Weird World. Aaron and Del Mundo. That's great artwork in this, actually. Really beautiful artwork in this book. A little underrated. Hidden gems, sort of say. Steve Rogers, Captain America by Nick Spencer. This was not good. I'm sorry. Another Doctor Strange. What disturbs you, Stephen? I'm a big fan of Doctor Strange. And we got Doctor Strange and the Secret Defenders. This is a series. I don't. I don't think. Don't think this is a complete series. Uh, has Secret Defenders one through eleven. We got Doctor Strange, The Oath, by Brian K. Vaughan. Another Doctor Strange. Don't pay the ferryman. This goes very well with. Uh, to Miracula, because there's crossover. Yeah. So it's the old art style that I love. The old 70s, 80s art style. Big fan of that. Wolverine Goes to Hell. This is the Jason Aaron run. I have, I think I have two more traits of that. Really enjoy this series. It's actually quite good. I've got Wolverine... Nick Fury, Scorpio. It's a miniseries, right? Collecting Wolverine, Nick Fury, the Scorpio Connection, Wolverine, Bloody Choices, and Wolverine, Nick Fury, Scorpio Rising. Yeah, like Archie Goodwin, Tom DeFalco, Howard Shaken, John Rusema, Sean McManus. Nice stuff. Moving on, uh, let's take it here. We got some Thunderbolts action. Daredevil, the run. So this is the Mark Wade, Paul Rivera run. I, I've tried to read this book, I think three or four times, but I just can't get into it. It's not my, it's not my, my Daredevil. It's not the Daredevil I like. I know this is uh, beloved by so many people, but I'm not one of them. I'm sorry for that. Mystery Men, little unknown book. Ultimates, it was great. Love the Ultimates. Ultimates, again, another Ultimates. I love the Ultimates. I think those are, those are great. Moon Knight. We have another Moon Knight. More Moon Knight. Yeah. And another Moon Knight. <laughs> I am a big fan of Moon Knight as well. You can have the uh, spin off or the mini series tie into the Shadowland series. This is the Shadowland Moon Knight. And we have another Moon Knight. This is the Bendis Malev run. Thunderbolts. This is the Warren Ellis. 
more Thunderbolts. I'm a big fan of Thunderbolts. You're going to see that. This is Punisher versus the Thunderbolts. Uh, moving on, we got more Thunderbolts. As you see here, there's quite a lot of Thunderbolts here. So I'm a big fan of the Thunderbolts. Here's a classic Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. Awesome book. One of the true classics. Man, and the title of a television show was highly inspired by this. And of course, Born Again. Miller and Matsukelli. I think the, the coming Daredevil is going to be called Born Again. If you haven't read this one, uh, man, do yourself a favor, read it. It's so freaking good. It's a, it's a great one. One of the all-time greats. We have by the Anasenti and Ranjum, Ranjum, John Romita Jr. Daredevil. This is the Charles Soule run. This was good. Unfortunately, I only read this first uh, trade. Days of Future Past, classic story. Great story. Iron Fist. This is the Brubaker run, part of it at least. Fraction of Brubaker, great, great one. Ghost Rider, Road to Damnation. Cool artwork in it. Carnage, The Great Hawkeye by uh, Fraction and Aja. Artwork is so different, and the story is great. I love this book. We got Bendis Moon Knight. David Houston, was it? Moon Knight. That's great. <clears throat> Moving on pretty quick here, but it's kind of a lot, you know, so. Here we have Electra. This is good. It has Del Mundo artwork, so, I mean... Look at this. The artwork is great, these books. And look at that. That's such great artwork. Beautiful book. Del Mundo is great. And we have Bucky Barnes to Winter Soldier. When he took over as Captain America, so this is what followed that. And then I want to great artwork. So, yeah, there's another volume of that. More Winter Soldier. This is a great series. This is the longest winter. This was a new series, right? The by Brubaker, yeah, which guys. Thor, Goddess of Thunder. But Jason here, a good one, really good. Classic Walter Simonson. Run of Thor. Let's oh, opening pages here. When we were introduced to Beta Ray Bill. Love to have it in, in like big art instead of these small trades. And Captain Mighty Thor, Seth Serpent God. It's an older book. I don't know. Says collecting Thor 395 to 400. <clears throat> the Trials of Loki. More from the Straczynski run. Unfortunately, I don't have these in order. I should really get them in order. The She Hulk by Charles Soule. These were, were a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Quirky artwork. Really a lot of fun, these books. Sensational Shulk by John Byrne. It's a lot of fun as well. Breaking the fourth wall before uh, Deadpool did it. Okay. 
Now this is your second chance. If you don't buy my book this time, I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna come to your house and rip out all your X-Men. <clears throat> That's fun. Cool book though. Alias. Okay, Old Man Logan Warzone. So this is the um, newer version. Rocket Raccoon. This one came out at the time when, um, you know, the Guardians of the Galaxy movies became popular. And this one did big numbers, big sales, bigger sales than Marvel had done in a, quite a while. Taskmaster, miniseries. I quite like the character of Taskmaster. And we got Avengers West Coast, darker than Scarlet. The original Old Man Logan. Unfortunately, we have this trade, but it's a great, great story. Really great story. Another volume of Alias. Here's a little tidbit. This is Marvel Atlas. So this is exactly what it says. It's an atlas of the fictional countries in Marvel. The Marvel universe. Not every country is fictional here, but it's just what it is. <clears throat> it's fictional. It's an atlas of every damn country. Like Varia, of course, all of Dr. Doom himself. And you have a all the information and Yeah, that's a it's a really cool just like little tidbit. New Mutants classic. This is volume three. I just picked them up, picked it up randomly. I like the artwork. I really am a big fan of this. 80s, 70s artwork when it comes to comics in general. Vision Quest. Okay, I'm kind of running through this because I got a lot to show you guys. This is the final one. <clears throat> so this is Hulk. Incredible Hulk by Jason Aaron. I have the second volume as well. Kind of generic artwork, but good, good book though. Immortal Hulk. The first two of those. That's really, really good stuff. Fantastic Four. We have Ultimate Fantastic Four. Vision by Tom King. Man, was this good. Freaking good. Fantastic Four by Warden Waringo. I really want to get the omnibus of that. It's such so good. Here's uh, the new Fantastic Four by Dwayne McDuffie. Fantastic Four Visionaries. So this is the Walter Simonson run. Star Wars Vader, Darth Vader, the first one. A complete one of those. And let's finish up here. We've got Hawkeye and the Thunderbolts. Fantastic Four, one, two, three, four. Grant Morrison, J. Lee, Jose Villarueva. Amazing story. I highly, highly recommend this. This is, artwork is great. And the story is fantastic. So if you haven't read this one, go ahead and read it. Continuation of the Brubaker, Captain America run. As you can see. So good. I love that run. Uh, Wolverine Goes to Hell by uh, Aaron. More Thunderbolts. Wolverine Origin. Then we'll finish up with Black Widow. Nathan Edmondson. He did this and Punisher at the same time. This is really good. I like the artwork. So there we go. Uh, kind of a quick overview of the trades. I do have some books left, and I want to do those in a separate video. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, anything you like, anything you see that seems interesting, give me a call, give me a thumb up. 
Uh, I'm sorry, getting a little bit lost my breath a little there, but uh, give me a comment. What do you think about these this uh, collection? Should I do a like closer overview of this stuff? Anything you want to see more of? Any books you want to see me more do? Closer overview of? Uh, please comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, come uh, give me that thumb up. And if you want more uh, videos like this and look at all my comics or the, the movies, uh, subscribe. Give me a possible subscribe. And uh, I'll see you, everybody, soon again with another video. Bye.